Hi guys, in this video we will learn about null pointer exception. Then we will get a null pointer exception. How to avoid a null pointer exception? So here is the example I'm gonna show you. So before that we need to check this employee class. Employee class having two variables, name and employee ID. That is EMP ID and name as a string form EMP ID as a hundred. So whenever we create object of employee, then we will get this information. Okay, so what I'm doing here, so I have created a new employee object and I I took employee one as a reference. So by using employee one as a reference, I am accessing the name of the employee. Okay, so here what I will get, I will get a name of employee as a street card. But in second scenario, I am not creating any object of employee. Just what I'm doing here, so just I'm initializing I employ to or with a null. So after that, line number 12, I'm accessing a name of employee to. So here what is happening? So here there is a no reference of any object in a heap memory. So it is null already. So if you do any operations on null, if you do, if you, if you perform any operations on null, then you will get null pointer exception. Let's see. See here. In first case, the output is three one. Next one is the null pointer exception because you can see the cannot read field name because FLT is null. So that causing a null pointer exception. Guys, so if you want to handle a null pointer exceptions, you have to write a condition here. In this way, you have to write just we can avoid the null pointer exceptions. We don't have any other options. Like a, just check if employee reference is not null, then only you have to access the attributes of that employee or that object reference then only you can avoid null pointer exceptions. So in this case, you won't get any null pointer exceptions. That's it for this video. Let's see next week. Thank you.